Hey students, this is Frau G, and as promised, I'm making a quick screencast which will show you the website that I'd like for you to use to make your Stundenplan. Okay, so you are making your Stundenplan project. Um, you need to open any of your internet browsers, Firefox, uh, Safari, any of those will work. If you go to um, my website, which you can do by simply typing Goverdon German. It'll be the first website to come up. It's called Frau Goverdon's German Classroom, or you can do so by going to kmsforth.com and it'll be connected to my name. So once you get to my website, you are going to go to the tab that says Unit Meine Schule. When you do Unit Meine Schule, you will see the vocabulary is uh, linked, which are also linked on the homework calendar. Number two, number two is the one that you can open to have as a tool as you complete, complete this project. It'll have the different subjects here, the days of the week, and it can ensure that you type everything correctly. The rubric is listed on the homework calendar as well, but I've also got it linked on that tab there for you. And so you are making a Stundenplan. You must have all of the requirements on your Stundenplan to get the full grade. Don't forget your title, which would be Mein Stundenplan, the days of the week. You need to have Montag, Dienstag, Mittwoch, Donnerstag, and Freitag for sure, those five. You can include Samstag and Sonntag if you would like. Make sure that you list your six classes, the six periods, and include the Zeit. Okay, the time. This can be however you would like. You can have even periods for an hour. You can have one period that's just 45 minutes, another that's an hour and a half. That's up to you. Um, I must see at least eight subjects in your schedule. These eight subjects, they may re be repeated every single day. You can do some of those subjects on an A-B schedule. Or you may do it the German way, where every single day your calendar and your schedule is completely different. So Montag is nothing like Dienstag, which is nothing like Mittwoch. The most important thing is that you make sure that this is Kittredge quality and that you have your name on it. So again, this is your rubric. You may pull this up on your computer, or you may pull out the one that I have given you in class, and you have that hard copy next to you as you are doing this. I would then recommend that you use the Stundenplan website A. Yes, it's Deutsch, it is German. .de, as we learned, means that it is a German website. You are going to go to Staten, so click Staten. And here you will see many, many Hintergründe. So Hintergrund means a background. You have all of these options to choose from. Okay, so many options. Um, if you scroll, you'll see and uh, we can pick, let's see, which one do I want to use for my example? Maybe I will use, my computer's kind of lagging. I'll use the ladybug for good luck. So you will select it. Bilderladen means that it is loading all of the pictures. The word Bilder means pictures. So it is loading, loading, loading. Almost there. And there we go. You can click out of uh, Hilfe schließen, close out the help, since you cannot read the German anyway. And here you go. Here is your Stundenplan um, background. So you can now specialize this or make it uh, sorry, individualize it for yourself. So I'm going to put Frau Govodan as my name because you can't forget that. Make sure you put your homeroom or travel group here. We are in the second semester right now, so it will be your travel group. And then you must have a title. You will click a um, over here by Dine Text. That means your text, and you will drag it over. And here you can edit it, and you can add mine. I'm struggling with spelling. Stundenplan. You can make it different fonts, okay? Drag it out to make it bigger. Even twist it, move it, however you like, right? 
Oh, it's not quite what I wanted. Let's see. There we go. As you can see, all of these things can be dragged around however you like it. Okay. And now you can edit and add the information that is required. Okay. So um, you have to label the days of the week. You have to label the periods. You have your six periods. You may decide how you want the schedule to look, what classes you want at what time, right? So um, at this point here, I could, for example, write, I will have mate, um, first period on, let's say, Monday and Wednesday. Um, here I am missing what? I'm missing the site, right, the actual time. So you must add that in. Okay, here's how you would do that. Just edit it and add it in as I am, right? Make sure you do that for each class period. Um, over here, Größe means you can make this whole thing larger, you can make it smaller, right? Um, Wochentage, if you would like to add more, like I said, you must have Montag, Dienstag, Mittwoch, Donnerstag, Freitag. If you would like to add those weekend days, you can do that. Um, Stundenanzahl, if you want to add more periods or if you want to add that you have soccer at the end of the day, Fußball, you may do that. Um, and here, Uhrzeit an, aus means leaving it on. Obviously, we need it, but if you were to do this, it takes it away. Name von der Klasse an, aus. I recommend leaving that on since you do need to have your name and your travel group. Over here we have Bilder. This is all the clip art that was loading. So if you would like to um, add pictures, what have you, you may absolutely do that. That is up to you. Here you may change the um, font color let's see if I'm doing this correctly and you've made it red right and here you have more options okay um, so yes you must have six periods with the time at least five days of the week um, you must have your title and it must be large enough so I can see it and you must have a minimum of eight subjects listed and along with including the eight subjects, you must also list um, Mittag Essen, which I would put at the same time every day. Mittag Essen means lunch. And you must also include eine Pause. Okay, I must see the word Mittag Essen and Pause in your Stundenplan somewhere. If you have any questions, you may send me an email. However, with this screencast, I hope that I was able to provide you with enough information. Uh, when you are finished, you would click on Ich bin fertig. So I am obviously not completely done, but I'm going to go ahead for the purpose of this video to click that. Ich bin fertig. It is being saved. And you may save the PDF here. PDF speichern. Speichern means to save. Drücken means to print. So hopefully you would be able to print it off right away. And then I would like for this to be turned in on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. The computer paper is perfectly fine. If you would like to glue this to a colorful piece of construction paper, you may do that. You may use your different duct tapes as a border. You may do whatever you like to make it um, colorful and nice. However, make sure that you do not make it too large. I would like for it to be, um, around the same size as printer paper, right? That's eight and a half by 11. And that's all. Have fun.